Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Model Y performance nearly sold out for 2021. NHTSA rejects petition for formal investigation into Tesla's battery management software. And, Tesla is building Model Y bodies with single front and rear castings, a manufacturing first. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's Model Y performance variant, which is the fastest available configuration of the all-electric crossover, is nearly sold out for 2021, according to the company's online design studio. Tesla has dealt with widespread demand for its electric vehicles in 2021. As the movement and transition to electrification continues to accelerate, Tesla is among the most sought-after brands of EVs, and demand for its cars continuously grows on a daily basis. Despite working toward opening two new production facilities by the end of 2021, one in the United States and one in Germany, Tesla is still dealing with delivery projection dates being pushed back. It appears that the Model Y, which is the company's most popular car, is now nearing a complete sellout for 2021. While this could be attributed to the global semiconductor shortage that has plagued automakers globally, Tesla has done a tremendous job of averting this crisis. The Model Y long-range, all-wheel drive variant has been sold out for the year for several months. Tesla currently projects deliveries of that variant of the crossover for April 2022. However, Tesla customers can still order a Model Y performance, with hopes of it being delivered by the end of the year. Tesla's online design studio now has deliveries of the Model Y performance set for December. As previously mentioned, Tesla's delayed delivery dates could be attributed to parts shortages. However, the company is coming off of its best quarter in company history in terms of delivery and production rates. Growth has not been an issue for Tesla, and the company has been able to avert the semiconductor chip issue by developing 19 of its own microcontrollers. CEO Elon Musk stated that it was an extremely difficult challenge to avoid production stop pages due to parts shortages, but Tesla's team of engineers, supply chain experts, production employees, and suppliers helped the automaker attain its most successful quarter to date. Moving to the next update, NHTSA rejects petition for formal investigation into Tesla's battery management software. The National Highway Traffic and Safety Administration rejected a 2019 petition requesting the agency open a formal investigation into Tesla's battery management software over allegations that an over-the-air update was defective and caused fires in five vehicles. The agency decided not to open a formal investigation in part because the majority of those incidents occurred outside of the United States, according to a document posted on its website. None of these were related to crashes and most were parked. As part of its evaluation, NHTSA reviewed 59 complaints out of the total 61,781 Model S and Model X vehicles from 2012 to 2019 included in the petition before it decided to reject it. Out of the 59 complaints, 52 alleged reductions in battery capacity and 7 alleged reductions in charging speed after the software was updated. Log data from the vehicles showed that the voltage limiting firmware was enabled in 58% of the complaints, but that subsequent updates restored some or all battery capacity to those vehicles, according to the report summary. The agency did find that a perfect storm caused two of the fires that occurred in China in 2019. The vehicles had recently completed fast charging sessions, the batteries were at a high state of charge, and were parked with the battery cooling systems shut off. The two vehicles also had histories of high stress usage. There were also two fires that occurred in the US, but one involved a vehicle with no supercharging history that was driving at the time of the fire, and another that couldn't be linked back to the high voltage battery system. The fifth fire happened in Germany, with a vehicle that had been parked at a low state of charge for an extended period of time. According to the petition, the complainant said Tesla was using the software update to mask and cover up a potentially widespread and dangerous issue with the batteries in their vehicles. 
After a two-year review, the NHTSA has concluded the petition is without merit and denied the request for a formal investigation. A further statement from the NHTSA explains they classified them as rare since there were no further fires in China or the US during the time in question. Moving to the last update, Tesla is building Model Y bodies with single front and rear castings, a manufacturing first. In an auto manufacturing first, Tesla has started building Model Y bodies with two giant single casting pieces for the front and back of the electric SUV. Tesla has been preparing to start production of the Model Y at two new factories, Gigafactory Berlin and Gigafactory Texas. CEO Elon Musk has been hyping the new Model Y to be built at those factories as a revolution in auto body engineering. He was referring to Tesla using mega casting parts to have single body pieces for the rear and front of the electric SUV. Over the last few years, the automaker has been heavily investing in casting and alloy technology to enable larger casted parts that have the capacity to greatly simplify manufacturing. The company even acquired several units of the biggest casting machines in the world. Tesla has already been producing the Model Y with a single rear body piece that replaced 70 different parts in the vehicle. It appears that a few months later, Tesla confirmed that it is now producing the Model Y body with the two parts. In a picture released in its Q2 2021 financial results, the Model Y body production line shows new bodies going through the line. It apparently went unnoticed, but a former Tesla employee with knowledge of the Model Y body was able to confirm from the picture that these bodies feature both single-piece front and rear casting parts. This is a first in auto manufacturing, and if successful, it could change the game. A source familiar with Tesla's body engineering listed some of the many benefits of such a design. You save on new factory space, capex, eliminate hundreds of welding robots and stamping machines, better NVH lighter, increased range, make manufacturing simpler by reducing the number of stamping and welding, savings from eliminating tooling or maintenance cost of welding and stamping, vertical integration, better supply chain control, and so many other benefits. Tesla has been wanting to go a step further and joined those two parts with a structural battery pack powered by its new 4680 battery cells unveiled last year. However, the automaker has lately indicated that the integration of the new cells and structural battery pack might not be introduced with the start of Model Y production at the new factories. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.